feels like I'm missing something. I think I'm good. Should've known he'd try to get back at us. I'm sorry? Julian sold us flour mixed with plaster once. And Luke complained to Carl. I guess this is Julian's revenge. Julian didn't do it, Bebin. It was Marco, his supplier. He, uh... Well, he's paid for what he did. Marco's dead. Who cares? Won't help Luke now. I want to be alone. What's up, girl? What you looking at me like that? Shit. Sorry, harvest's already in. All milled and ready to go. I see. Thanks anyway. Wait. <sighs> Take this. A little sweetness for the surplus. Hmm. Well, do you often give away honey and backhanded compliments like that? Honey and wisdom. Both my gifts to you. So much darkness in the world, why not brighten it with a smile? Might open more doors for you. Mom, don't you know who that is? He's a pilgrim. He's no criminal, Benny. Look at him. In his eyes. Do you see what I see? We must judge people with our own hearts and eyes. And not based on rumor or innuendo. Thanks. Civilizations but a whim Thanks. Five years of learning and all for So this guy what does he want me to do? I know it's like five five quests here. Barely level one, dude. No, nothing. I just have to get it right this time. The wind hills. Turn them on if you get a chance. They Is it fucking nighttime? Oh. Ah! 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 
I know I get stronger if I do this. Fucking money. A howler. I'm gonna go at this bitch. Did. Why is that so scary? Oh! <laughs> So like Am I supposed to do this mission at night? Activate a safe zone. Okay, runner. Night runner built these
I'm about to break these. Fuck, man. How the fuck do I get up there? Start a chase. I'm gonna get caught here. <laughs> oh, fuck! Panic mode! Oh, fuck! <laughs> about my lesson today about when the guns were confiscated in Villador and what happened afterwards he wants to light a candle on the site of the March Massacre the March Massacre yes 64 people died that day gunned down like sitting ducks if you want to know more you should go and see for yourself. Why can't he? No one can leave the building while school is in session. Children shouldn't walk around the bazaar on their own. Hmm. I thought you'd be more worried about them falling into a dark zone. Oh, kids nowadays are too smart to fall into a silly hole. Anyway, could you light a candle for him, young man? You might learn something yourself. Sure, though I was pretty lousy at history. History uh -huh. is boring when someone tells you about it. It starts being fascinating when you can touch it. Touch it? Yes, take this candle and go to the monument of the World Art Congress. Or what's left of it. It's close by. Contact me when you get there. You'll see what my lesson was about today. 
That's a nice little history we can do later. I can't see you, you fucking asshole. What you mean, Chase started? <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> you bitch, move! Oh, my God. Some bullshit. Fuck you, be a level two, bitch. Ah, fuck. No! What are you doing? Oh my god, a level three? No! I really can't see where I'm going. I fucking do it. They know I'm here. They know I'm fucking here, dude. That's stupid. No, I can't see. Fuck. I'm stressed. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna make it, I'm dead. Oh shit! Well, I'm dead! trying to get to that house man <sighs> bitch what the fuck was it a level three chase man you can't get to that house i really can't What do you mean? <laughs> what 
the fuck? Little oh, bitch. No! <laughs> what? what you gonna do? What you wanna do? All of y'all. Everybody's ass. You can trip? You can trip. For the third time, you need to trip. I'm not about to do that shit at daytime, man. I suck. <clears throat> hey, kid. You know some old world folks recorded audio time capsules when they realized the shit was gonna hit the fan? Gotta look inside buildings to find them. Uh, <clears throat> they got me nervous. Is it daytime? Yeah, it's morning. Seen someone botch a job so badly in my life. I thought I could trust them. Upon a time, people only had bows, arrows, and spears, and they managed to survive. Is that why wheels survive too? Truth be told, there were also herds upon herds. <laughs>
Damn, bro, I can't see shit. What does that mean? Now continuing the safe code, 101. It worked. Oh, what? He actually did something back? Get the fuck out of here. That's 
weird. It's a weird glitch. Someone does one nearby. Chicken pop pie. Can I get to the roof up here? I guess not. Bitch! Some bullshit. Um, run that shit back, dude. Inhibitor container detected. Get out of here! Shut! Shut up! 
taking so long? The damn pick is stuck. Then get it unstuck. Just give me a second. There's something there. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Oh, fuck. Howard.
bitch! Come and meet me down here, you dumb bitch. Sir. No. Get the fuck out of here. That piece of shit scary me. Fuck off. He's dead. Oh, fuck.
elements gods are punishing us one day paradise oh shut it waiting on paradise pathetic i agree dumb to wait for it i've been there after ten bottles sure here now i'll tell you for a bottle oh, get out of here wait this could be hilarious bottle after the story deal so these events took place shortly after the end of the civil war in 2025 i knew this guy on old mao street in south korean by the former pool he used to make his own moonshine and i can't see who's talking <laughs> i got particularly bummed that night and i got lost like really lost ended up in a dark zone you're lying you'd be dead oh there she is i didn't even know she was there i fell down a hole and landed in water 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 even had fish in it and all the fuck i hadn't seen fish in forever i decided to stay under at least i'd die warm and with my new fish friends i was doing a pretty good job at my suicide when suddenly i was pulled out his name was magnus a robe wearing savior type his group had been living down there since who knows when off the grid for years hadn't even heard of the renegades they had uv lamps a power generator i met the children born there no biomarkers how did they survive they'd formed their group around this natural underground pool the pool was the center of everything even had religious rituals around it and no infected paradise <laughs> Toxins are forbidden, but I'll take whatever you're on. The downworlders felt the same way. Cleansed me of toxins. Nursed me to health. No idea how long I spent there. But I swam in the pool every day. And then one day I dived deep in the pool. And found a bunch of pipes. And a giant pump system. So, not a natural pool? Clever boy. Only one place they could be pumping it in from. Villador's Reservoir. I went to Magnus and confronted him. But he knew. Everyone knew. Downworlders don't concern themselves with what happens above, he told me. I begged him to change his views. To think about the kids. About all the people we could help with this much water. His face hardened. We shall never talk about this again. I knew things wouldn't be the same for me after this. People looked at me different. And indeed, a few days later, they came for me. I ran to the pool and jumped in. I had no idea what I was doing until I saw the valve handle for the pump. I turned it on full blast. The waters churned violently around me. I hit my head on something and blacked out. I woke up in the old Villador sewers. Paradise. Lost. You drowned them? All? People need to think about themselves to survive. But we won't survive if we only think about ourselves. Now. How about that bottle? That was a good story.
So does it go away when I stand next to the window or something? Oh yeah, it does. It just resets. I did not know that. No, sir. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I thought it was a friendly, you dumb bitch! <laughs> Come on, bitch! Come here, bitch! Come here, bitch! <laughs> Bring that little tight ass over here, ho! You son of a bitch. Whoa! Fuck! <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, bitch! <laughs> fucking cheating ass shit. Dumb fucker. Dumbass. Yes. Smack that bitch. Oh, fuck. I didn't even know these bitches just came out of nowhere. Oh, fuck. That just scared the shit out of me. Choke that hoe. Oh, fuck! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What's good with you? Move, oh, bitch. What are you doing? I literally just wasted a resource, man. That's not what I was trying to do. Back to this because I was doing something over here. Oh,
Where am I? Oh, it's turning nighttime, I see. Inhibitor container detected. Ah! Uh, fuck! Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. It's getting nighttime. Shit! What? What do you mean? Things for sure. I hate doing nighttime. I crap.
There you go. I am in the bazaar today. The wind is blowing from the east. Five years of learning and all for nothing. I just have to get it right this time. My grandfather used to work as a miner in the far east south of the mm. Those tunnels are teeming with collecting now. They were up above. The worst thing was they took all the equipment. You couldn't have screwed it up more than you did. That's it? Get that garbage out of here. Good bitch.
for a long way. Not here, big fella. There's so many of them. I want to do this one.
Nice. Did it wake anybody else? Not be Gucci. I know this might be a little boring to you guys, but like it's better than me fucking fighting these guys at the same time. <laughs> Ah, uh, come on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, come on. 
I love it. Alright, so I'm seeing... Come on, dude! They're just gonna keep fucking grabbing me. Ah! make a difference hello come on dude you're telling me that I can't do this Let me get the fuck out of here. Ah! <laughs> Bro, I got sidetracked. I was supposed to go to that fucking, uh, the fucking windmill, man. Check that over here, man. I'm gonna take all that shit.
Oh, I see. Oh my god! I press X and shit! Fuck, man! Oh, my heart! Good that I did that because shit. Come on, dude. I can jump up.
on the way to the central yeah, bank. set up my show my installations right outside the main entrance turn it on please I'll go get Alberto wait till he sees it meet me by the goat pen then near the wall Man, I'm so thirsty okay, and this guy's smoking a cigarette Happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very. It has big, huge. You're saying it has potential. Potential? Yeah. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... And pronounce you, uh, uh, a, uh, craft master? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come around to my craft master workshop. Sure, thanks. Just, uh, watch yourself out there. Okay. Hey, no watch worries, yourself. friend. That was very nice. I love these stories so far, but that's an overcooked. All right, uh, give me a second. I'll be right back.
thank you to my sponsor for giving me a plate of food. That was really good. This is really good. <clears throat> I just hope I don't um, bite into a bone. That was a good story. Let's do this one next. Hey, Hankel, I'm at the monument. You were right. Not much left of it. Good. Look closely. There is much more to it than meets the eye. There's a plaque here. Oof, a lot Man. of names on it. You Are missed a lot. Victims of a massacre? But I kept like yeah. fighting zombies. I died a couple times. And one of them was like one of them I was like there. getting chased at. Oh my god, that shit was so, so bad. They confiscated the civilians weapons. Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter. <laughs> What happened here? That is where the riots started. People were terrified. How could they protect themselves and their families? There was massive unrest. So, a curfew was put in place. And homes were raided to ensure no one was hiding any weapons. Punishment for those who didn't comply was quite severe.
funny because I kept, I kept screaming when I was getting chased. Oh my god. Shots were fired. The army started shooting at people. Panic broke out. And of course... Right now I'm just doing a little side missions. The riots Leveling up the character, getting some better it stuff. The beginning of the end. I've been like fighting and attacking, but like the hardest part is running through at night. So you're saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away? Hard to know for sure, but it didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became obsolete. At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Now, you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. But if so, he took that secret to the grave. So I guess we'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated your path. Okay, let me let me tell you something. I love the fact that he blurred everything when he was speaking, and now he has full focus. That bitch got yeeted. He ain't got shit. What is this? Follow the checkpoints to reach the finish line as quickly as possible. Where the fuck do I do that at? I should get going before it gets dark. Ah! <laughs> What's up, y'all? We're good. Boy, you got a big old chin, got man. I need these, man. I need those to heal. I'm glad I stumbled upon those.
The objective? Um. Hurry up already. Uh, so far, there's no objective yet. I just completed the majority of the ones that I had. There's no objective. I might do just the main mission right now, but I'm liking doing some free free fighting, you know. Uh, I'm gonna get going. Oh, this way. Oh, damn. Fuck, there's no way. How many? Oh, I need two more. There's no way. It's over. Okay, those are those are pretty fun. Those are pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty fun. I need some health kits, man. All right. You ready for the main mission? Cause I'm 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 on my way right now. Inhibitor 
Little bitch! Where'd he go? <laughs> you fucking bitch! <laughs> what was I doing again? You're right. Yeah, not like you do shit to me. I. Right. All right, he's up here. All right. Got any skill points? Nah. Uh, man. The next one I want to get is like far jump. This one or even steep one. You could just dash forward. Man, I could tell you right now, man. I think the one I'm looking for is the wall run. Oh, look at that. The wall run or the little skis. Oh my god, that's gonna be so sick. Just moving around. Alright. Hack on. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered, even for my tastes. What about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof, you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. So you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can't handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night. I don't know. When there's less infected in the tunnels. I don't know his, uh, his ethnicity. I don't know if it's like Spain or something. I, I, I forgot what city these guys are located in. <clears throat> huh? I got it. There's a creature I haven't seen before. What does it look like? <laughs> not, a, not a big one. Extremely fast. Probably a bolter. You can find some interesting stuff on them. But catching one requires serious hunting skills. Now is not the best time for this, Aiden. Head for the tunnels.
Can I just go in here? Oh fuck, I need to lockpick this shit! No, oh, baby! <laughs> God, why is there here? <laughs> I'm glitching it. Hold up. Hold up, maybe this side works. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. I fucking knew it. Oh my god, the fucking audio, dude. Hold up. I need to go back up. Oh fuck! This bitch. God, dude. No, I fucking knew it. What's better, these or the other one? Health regeneration speed, damage parkour attack. And then this is a speaker for range. I don't have range, so I'm gonna just go to that one for now. God damn it.
Fuck you, bitch! I'm gonna get you, bitch. Oh, you fucker! Move! He's tired, he's tired. That bitch that fucking runs, man! <laughs> Fuck you, man! Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Come on, don't get stuck. I need to glitch this. Aha. Where are you at, though? Come on. Oh, I got a lot of picking, no!
I ain't got no health kits. I ain't got no fucking. Oh, I got a shroom. Ah, oh, come on. No, get the fuck away from me. said there's only a couple bitch fuck you mean <laughs> get off of me get off me man Shit! You said there's only a couple, you stupid bitch. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. More bitch. Where is it? Where am I going? Oh my god! Upstairs. I'll chat them up when you get inside. Fuck this game! <laughs> oh shit, man! Oh my god. I'm about to destroy a couple of these fucking weapons already, dude. I'm going back. I need... I need some shit from them. Oh my god. Ah! 
Run in circles. <laughs> that motherfucker went flying. You son of a bitch. It's the way they glitch for me. Yo, look at that. Oh shit! Oh fuck. Fuck you! No? What do you mean? Oh, don't tell me I just wasted my time there. Oh shit! Oh, do I have to fight this bitch? Literally, that bitch was spitting facts. I mean, I was seeing the shrooms, it's just all of them were piling up on me, and I don't understand why they're chasing me when it said to walk. being a traitor right now a 
I'm on the platform. Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second. come from he was wandering through the tunnels fucking bizarre riffraff more like a renegade spy <laughs> doesn't look like a renegade <clears throat> he's awake What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lost saw nothing, heard nothing, and you managed to forget about the ban on passage? Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth, and you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always is said... dead, and now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridges collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? Hmm. When was the last time you were out of the city? About 15 years ago. Damn. And there are that many fewer survivors. And that many more infected. Stands to reason. Most people endure living in this hellhole because what's out there has got to be so much worse. My wife and I lived in England. I had two sisters, two brothers. Haven't heard from them for 10 years. And where did they live? In and around London. From what I've been told, London doesn't exist. There may be four settlements left on the entire island. Fucking hell. Why would anyone think I killed your commander? You tried to escape to the central loop four days after the murder. Besides, if I were Carl, I'd hire a stranger to kill Lucas too. It's the cleanest way. Well, I don't know who Carl is. Uh, you'll find out soon enough. Carl keeps both hands on the steering wheel. He's a faux sanctimonious prick who's turning the entire bazaar against us, even though we protect them. 
What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter? I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, maybe I can help you. But not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. What do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. Hmm. And why should I work with you? You attacked me and accused me of murder with no proof whatsoever. Our mistake. You're clearly not the murderer. Why can't you investigate on your own? I hardly know anyone here. That's exactly why you can help me. Nobody will talk to us. To them, we're occupiers. The fact that we clear the streets of the infected and catch criminals doesn't matter. What matters is that we eat their food and drink their water. But you, you're a pilgrim. There are many ways you can help people. And you're from the outside. They can trust you. They tried to kill me. Nah, look, we are your only chance. If you want to get to the center, that is. So, will you help me? Hmm. So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around. Ask people. And don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. Hmm. seen a uniform like yours before I'm a carrier a carrier what's that I belong to the carriers guild I'm one of many if there are so many of you why haven't I seen your uniform before we're discreet we're entrusted with valuable information and therefore keep a low profile now your profile isn't so low right now indeed our headquarters are located in the center Yo, your and shoes the are looking kind of right nice right now. through the subway tunnels you got a warehouse shoe cell around the here? These keepers control the passage and aren't letting anyone Shit. in or out of the center right now. Until they do, I'm stranded. That sucks, especially since I'm in need of some information. I can't help you. We have a strict code of confidentiality. Only our guild master would be authorized to share information. And then he's the one I should talk to. Any other ways I can get into the center? Not that I'm aware of. On the surface, the border of the center is a no man's land. It was devastated in a chemical attack. I'm gonna take your cutting shoes. This what size are you, buddy? From the center. Nine and a half. The air and ground are poison. Only the most freakish monsters can survive there. that jacket is tight. Damn. Well, I'll have to find a way. Somehow. Good luck. 
Hey, Hakon. Are you there? Aiden, buddy. Good you're alive. Yeah? I got caught and questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. Citizen, stay alert. Do you have alcohol? If you're lucky, like me. Found this bottle in a basement while on patrol. Hey, so you got patrols covering the whole area? Someone's got to do it. City's got us to thank that it's even still standing. What, you want to join us? What would I need to do? Complete the training. Hard as fuck. Not everyone can hack it. Don't need weak links, you know? Medicine. What's that all about? I'm contemplating a bold new direction in distilled arts, but sadly, I'm not able to serve you right now. Wait, distilled arts? Serve me? Yes, I'm a bartender, and not only am I looking to revive the lost art of mixology, but I plan on reinventing it. How so? Through the infusion of special herbs and booze, not only to make it taste great, but to give it healing properties. So, what's the problem? You see, the wrong amount of even the finest ingredients could be the difference between creating a refreshing healing cocktail and deadly poison. Only one person can help me achieve the right results, and they say she is a witch. Okay. Well, how can a witch help you become a better bartender? A mixologist, and she's not a witch, really, but a healer. The superstitious call her a witch. Ah, oh, so she makes potions and such. Indeed, and only she possesses the knowledge of combining ingredients properly to ensure I'm not poisoning my new customers. A carrier told me that this woman uses the guts of infected in her potions. Can you believe that? Not really. But you can see how it would be easy to create a deadly poison as a healing potion, right? So this so-called witch lives somewhere in the city? In the central loop, where the buildings reach the sky. Behind the bank, I hear. Yeah, naturally. Where else would you find a witch if not behind a bank? How droll. Anyhow, I need her expertise to reinvent mixology. With her knowledge of herbs and my bartending skills, everyone will want to come and drink my cocktails. It just looks genetic. Don't think you have to try too hard to convince people what to drink booze. What do you mean booze. by that? Like, basic oh, ass food? Oh, but you see, this won't be just any common hooch. Each will be a handcrafted work of alcoholic art. Well, when you put it that way, I'll keep an eye out for her if I make it into the city center. But I would be eternally in your debt, and the first drink would be on the house. Hmm. The butcher is our greatest enemy. Yesterday I had a good day. Black Monday bombing. Killed five infected while on patrol. Nice. Good day, citizen. Hey, man. Where could I get some food? In the canteen. We have a canteen and a hospital in our base. Like in the army. Not like in the army. This is the army. We're bringing order to this fucking chaos. And who are you? No one in particular. Does it matter? It always matters. I'm someone other than I was. A fucking philosopher. Go to Carl, he likes that kind of bullshit. You must help us. Otherwise, there will be a rebellion. Help us in the investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. I told you already. Nobody in the bazaar had anything to do with Lucas's death. Then why won't you let us search your homes, huh? If everyone is so innocent, then there'd be nothing to hide. Keep your brutes away from our homes, Anderson. So you're hiding somewhere. Time is running out, Carl. <laughs> You don't hand over the killer, we'll raise your precious bazaar to the ground. Sow the wind, and reap the whirlwind, Anderson. Don't bite off more than you can chew, old man. Hey then, come on, I'm on the road oh, right okay. to the metro. Got you on my radar, pilgrim. Don't cause any fuss here. We clear up. Then. So, 
What did they want from you? If you'd been there like you said you'd be, I... Oh, oh, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Aitor doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's gonna have problems. Aitor said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. And he believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Carbatos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. So, basically, they're using Pilgrim in this game as a person that goes from city to city. It just doesn't stay in one spot. They just travel. They travel wherever they need to be. Uh, but they're they're mostly painting an image on him saying that he's a murderer and that, that he's pretty much a murderer that he just kills people as a pilgrim he'll kill people and run away to another city that's what they're picturing him as to come up behind me, got a broken nose. Yeah, I was kind of a little confused myself too until I started catching on on like why are they calling him a pilgrim? Why is it the word pilgrim they're using? Not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. 
So get in line. Got it. You know when I'll be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Uh, nothing to do but wait, I guess. Hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. W wait, I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently he had an urgent appointment with another customer. That guy's a bitch calling him out. Yeah, sure. Hakon, he's running away. Nah, sounds like you'll be. Oh, wait a sec. I see him. Hassel's running to the northeast. Faster, Aiden. You almost got him. Cheating right now. I don't need to go through all those fucking tunnels. Uh, Hakon, he's not here. Ah, oh, impossible. I saw him right there. That little weasel must be hiding. Look around. Oh, wait, I see him. He's climbing. See that GRE building? He's climbing to the roof. There's no way he's gonna like There's no way He's not gonna be able to fucking make it He went in the building. Leave me alone. I ain't done anything. What the fuck? He's right there. Don't hurt me. I don't know anything. About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything. I swear. I'm told that you're a fence. Hmm? A fence? No way. A reseller, maybe, but. I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. Hey, don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. Know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. That weapon is way too hot. Why did you run away from me? Because every five minutes someone's coming after me, man. Okay, I may have given people a reason to be mad, but... I'll make things right. Soon. Eventually. Maybe. Hmm. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on. Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas. Which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried uh... to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. 
client confidentiality. Stop fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. Maya? His sister? But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Wait. Maya? Hey, hack on. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know a Maya? Oh, no, that's not his no. sister. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. <laughs> Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there. The army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlook them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro. If I jump, I'm not going to make it over there. What the fuck? Oh, I'm out of here, dude. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> ah! You shit me? No way. You kidding me? Don't know about that. What the <laughs> I don't know about all that either.
Uh, Assassin's Creed and a zombie? That'd probably be pretty cool. Right, that was cool. I can't tell. How the fuck do you get up there? Ah! What are you doing? Oh, you stupid bitch. inhibitor containers like do you remember when I had to crouch down and walk around these zombies and I found this box and he injected himself so he could start climbing that's what it is I don't know how to get downstairs from here unless I'm missing something is it this doing here oh like this this is an inhibitor inhibitor container will give me like one of these I'll definitely go for the stamina for sure Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on. You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. 
was wandering around with these yeah, cunts so and ran okay. across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him, and I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. Do you expect me to just hand that brass Hoosie what's it over? Are you nuts? The Hoosie what's it's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you the stupid thing, but for 500. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal! Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. Hmm. Keepers, losers, weepers. Hey, hack on. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Agree, no, Anomaly? I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. What does that mean? Am I, am I gonna fight somebody? No, I wanted him. Damn. Those are runners or some shit. If I got a bolter, bolter got some good shit. What the fuck? I want all this shit, you fucker. before the yelpers come. Uh, oh my god, I thought I missed that shit.
Ah, oh, the pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had them? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Ah, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. It probably is a mission. I did what you wanted. Sorry, I barely read turn. that. I was more focused Get on running. The Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Aider, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Aider, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there. And I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me? Or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me. Oh, uh, okay. You'll be helping yeah, yourself. you're right. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy. Carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. The men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy... Then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Damn it. It's like... It's like I can't... I don't want to end the stream like that, man. I was trying to pause it for a bit, but like I'm trying to find this bitch-ass Lucas. Aiden, I hope you haven't come empty-handed. Worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me outside. One suck. Summed him up right there, I think. Aiden wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. By doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless you prefer the girl. Sophie? 
Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Wow. What you got for sale? A mine? Hungry need to buy something, eyes. <laughs> but he's a hoe. I mean, low key he is, man. He is. Oh man, I don't have enough of this. I really want that. Nothing I love better than a return customer. All right, let's go find this bitch ass. Oh, we doing this at night? I don't know if I want to do this at night, though. Hold up. Do I? How far is this shit? Not that far. We're going to stick to the rooftops. Fuck it. Climb up. <clears throat> I can't do nothing with those inhibitor containers only because, uh, uh only because, like, some of them are really high levels and I have to do them at night. And that's too fucking scary for me right now. I'm not even level up to a point where I can actually kill somebody in one shot. I didn't even know I had I didn't have any weapons. What? Does it take cell? I can help him out. Oh my god, for real. Anything will help right at this point.
Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the Pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. Hmm. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. <laughs> Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad. And getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar. Simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you then? Mm. I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah oh, yes, I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Got a package for her. No, you don't. Excuse me? Sophie knows no one outside of Villador. She was born and raised here. That's probably why she cares about this place so much. She's of great help to me. So, unless it's a package from across the street, I'll have to call your bluff. Who says I'm bluffing? I do. I could tell a mile away. But all right. I'll tell you where she is. And you know why? Why? Because whatever it is you want, even if your intentions are hostile, she'll handle you. We will handle you. Just as we handled you before, Pilgrim. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far.
Thanks. Wasn't that hard, was it? Don't lie to me again, Pilgrim. After all, I'm not lying to you, am I? Just want you to return the courtesy. This bitch. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. Ball headed hole, man. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. A certain transaction? Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are, so far at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean, exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. Oh, from the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does. But there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop on piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, kind of shy. They're both craftsmen. Clever, too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Looking for work? By any chance? If only we didn't have to work so Back in the day, I had a huge... A massive, uh, well, and uh, a workshop, Dad. Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. Oh, for fuck! They've already sent one of their f f f f f f fuckwits. Who? That uh. fellow, <laughs> Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he Barney? asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred, a uh, hundred and twenty. Uh, a hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign. Fashion store. 
and a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. All right. So, I'm actually just gonna pause this and continue this when I can. Uh, it is taking a little bit longer for me to finish it, so which sucks because I don't want to stop doing it. But I do have work tomorrow, so I'm just gonna pause it for now. But uh, make sure you guys like and follow my page, follow my Instagram. You guys support the stream. Drop a reaction, you guys appreciate the content. Then check out the rest of my playlist. I do play other games other than this. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Put your fireflies on you guys. Watch yourself. I know it was getting good, but like I don't I, I can't spend any more time on this. I'm gonna be way too exhausted tomorrow. But I'll see you guys later though. Watch yourselves.